But don't make it over two verses, preacher. Let's just give somebody a chance if they're saved, if they're lost, to get saved. That's not all invitation is about. You know the bigger part of invitation, I believe? I mean, it's good if somebody is lost here that needs to be saved, that they can come down and be saved during invitation. But I think the biggest part is for God's people to get here on this on their knees in this altar and start praying some of those prayers with tears in them Amen. on behalf of our lost loved ones, on behalf of our country, and then we would see revival take place. Amen. God's not impressed with this cold-hearted praying that we do anymore. I believe if we showed Him some tears in our prayers, He would answer our prayers. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to have a song of invitation. I want you to all stand. You heard a wonderful, powerful message tonight. And I'm sure that anybody here, there's not a person here that doesn't have someone that they can pray for. I would ask you to come and make your way. If you're not physically able to come to the altar, pray where you are. Folks, we need to be praying on behalf of the lost around us. Amen. Amen. We need to pray for our country. We need to pray for revival. And we need to pray that it starts in this church with our very person. Amen. Amen. What are we going to sing? Brother? Number 118. Considering, you know, we we need to uh, to get our children busy learning the, the Word of God and uh, and learning these uh, verses of Scripture. But we don't need to let them do more than we do. And and, and folks, handing out tracts is a thing that you don't see that much anymore. And it used to be a big ministry, and there was a Amen. lot of folks that come to know Jesus through those tracts. Amen. And uh, uh, that would help you if you're one of those that says you can't talk. I don't really believe that. I believe anybody can talk about Jesus. Uh, just Amen. tell what He did for you is all you have to do. You don't Amen. have to use big fancy words. 
Look, look at what the woman at the well said. She just said, come see a man who told me all things whatsoever I did. Is this not the Christ? And many believed. Amen? Amen. It doesn't have to be big fancy words, but just tell what He did for you. And, and you, you know what? A lot of people, I, they, I, if, they were, if they would just talk truthfully and openly what's in their heart and mind, right now they'd be saying, yeah, but Brother Russell, we just never done that at this church. And uh, you know we just don't have, we we leave that for the preacher to do and uh, and I, I I would talk about Jesus but I'm waiting for an open door and uh, you know what the open door is when Jesus said go into all the world and make disciples Amen. and baptize them that's your open door so many guys people want him to kick him through it that you know after he opens the door Amen but folks listen we need to decide this day let this be a challenge to you what you've heard tonight because if you continue to do what you've always done. And you're always going to be what you've always been. Amen. You know what? Let's decide today that we're going to be more for Jesus than what we were in the past. Amen. Amen. Let's tell people about Him. Let's expand these walls. I'm not about numbers. You know, I'm not. A, I'm not about numbers at all. But numbers are great if, if people are getting saved and, and the Lord's church is growing. That's a good thing. Amen. That's a good thing if we're doing it the right way. Amen. So think about that this next week. Now. I'll hush. I don't need to be adding anything to what this man said. Not anyway. My goodness. He, he doing a fine it. job. Keep on. <laughs> but anyway, we, we did receive uh, two of our letters for uh, Brother Eric Qualabon and uh, Sister Linda Stevens. I would like, <laughs> amen. I would like for them to come forward tonight. I know we, uh, we've been here a while, but that's all right. This is God's time. We don't give him enough time as it is. So listen. Can we put the business meeting off until next week? Unless there's something. Y'all want to, y'all, hey, uh, that's a good idea since since we've been here a while now. Y'all, we have a motion that we uh, just postpone business meeting until next week. All right, second for that. Any discussion to the motion, sir? If not, all in favor? Hands down, any opposed, same sign. All right, motion carried. Y'all come on up here. Let's have another song. Come by and give these folks the right hand of church fellowship. Amen. <laughs> if you're here and you're not a member of this church, come by and give them the right hand of Christian fellowship. Love both of y'all. All right, let's start with this side so we don't get too congested in the hallway. And uh, What are we going to sing? Number 144. <laughs>
Russell. We need to pray for their safety. They're leaving tonight to go part way home to go the rest of the way tomorrow. Let's, let's do that. And it's let's already dark to make it. They don't want to drive too much in the dark. All right, let's remember that when we're in closing prayer. I would like to ask Brother James, Sister Gail, to follow me to the back of the church. And uh, y'all give them a, a good handshake and uh, or a hug and tell them how much you enjoyed them being with us today and tell them you'll be praying for them for a safe travel. Amen. Amen. Y'all would come with me to the back and uh, let's see. Brother Eric, would you lead us in closing prayer, please? Lord, most gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for giving us another chance to come into your house and worship together today. Thank you for the word that was brought this evening. Help us to be able to plant seeds in our hearts that something would grow to benefit you and help this church be the life community that you would have her to be. Be with many prayer requests that were made today. You know the burden of each one and the need that each person has in their, their life. Be with the uh, missionaries that are overseas. Be with the missionaries that are here in the United States, Lord. Help them to speak boldly and uh, have a hedge of protection built around them, dear Lord. Watch over us and leave God direct all these things. In your son's most precious name, we ask it. Amen. Amen.